I'm Chief Meteorologist Lauren Wallace, and we have a really cool event on the way for your Thursday night into very early Friday morning. We have a total lunar eclipse, and we have a great opportunity to view it as long as the clouds cooperate. So what that means is the sun, the earth, the moon will all be lined up, and the moon is going to be in the earth's innermost shadow, or its umbra. The outer shadow, where you get the partial lunar eclipse, that's called the penumbra. What's really cool about this is the moon is going to have a reddish orangish tint to it. And why that is, is because as the sun rays go through the Earth's atmosphere, the colors with the shorter wavelengths or the ones that we think of that are at the bottom of a rainbow, like the blues, the violets, those get scattered by the Earth's atmosphere. But the colors that have the longer wavelengths or the ones that we think of at the top of a rainbow, like the reds, the oranges, even the yellows, those make it through Earth's atmosphere and reach our eyes. So that's the color that we see. That's why it's going to have have that reddish tint. So let's go through a timeline of exactly when you can expect this lunar eclipse. So everything kicks off at 857 on Thursday evening. You'll see the Earth, uh, the moon start to dim a little bit as it works its way into the penumbra, that outer shadow at 1009. And then the main event really kicks off as we get to 1126. This is when the Earth is going to take on that reddish tint. The total uh, maximum eclipse is going to be at 1150 58 and then the eclipse is going to end at 1231. So if you head outside, the best time to do it will be between 1126 and 1231 AM. After that, the moon becomes dim as it goes back in the penumbra, and then everything really ends by 3 AM. If you do miss this event, our next one isn't going to be until March 3rd of 2026. So I do have some tips for you. I mentioned if the clouds cooperate, this is something that we can see. So that's going to be an issue. We'll have to watch for the clouds. Uh, this is really cool because you don't need any special gear for this. This is something that you can see just with your eyes. It will be enhanced if you have binoculars and telescopes, but you don't need those. All you need to do head outside. It's best if you find a darker area away from city lights, look up, find the moon, you'll be able to see it. And like I mentioned, you have that one hour, uh, which is the best time to view it. And that's when you'll want to dress warmly. We have some cool temperatures. I'll show you in just a moment, but let's talk about the future cast for the eclipse. So this starts around nine o'clock. Notice that we still have that potential for a couple of showers, but now I've paused this at 1125 when the lunar eclipse really starts when it starts to get that orangish reddish color. Notice that we do have some some clouds around, but there are some spots with clear skies. So I would recommend at least going outside and seeing if you can see it because we will have some clear spots in the valley. It is definitely worth trying. That's at 1230 again when things end and then the entire event ends at 3 a.m. and you can already see rain will be heading our way again. So here's a look at our forecast temperatures. 1126 when it really starts to get that red color will be at 45 degrees and then uh, we'll still be in the mid 40s by 1231 when things start start to wind down. So make sure that you dress warmly. And like I mentioned, it is definitely worth it to head outside and check it out.